Last month in Yerevan, Armenia, took place a major milestone in the history of Armenian musical education, the unveiling of Yerevan's Tchaikovsky Music School, which has been fully renovated by the Hayastan All Armenian Fund's U.S. Eastern Region affiliate. The opening was attended by many guests and dignitaries, including President Serge Sarkisian and representatives of Hayastan All Armenian Fund. Following the festive opening ceremony, many students who have won competitions in both Armenia and internationally treated the guests to a mini concert performed in a refurbished auditorium. Today, more than 600 children study at the Tchaikovsky School, which provides a curriculum combining music and general education. The school was founded in 1939. The current campus, which was built in 1973, has now been transformed into a world-class institution thanks to the extensive renovations of the past two years. The refurbishment project has encompassed a complete redesign, seismic retrofitting, and numerous upgrades. The improvements included a new roof, new doors and windows, new heating and air conditioning, installation of an elevator, construction of a wheelchair ramp at the entrance of the school, and much more. The renovations have also included the reconstruction of the school's gym, and transformation of the concert hall into a state-of-the-art auditorium, complete with a new stage and amenities for performance and audience alike. Since the Tchaikovsky School project speaks to the three main pillars of the Armenian Fund national building model, education, infrastructure, and community, Armenia Fund USA believed that this one-of-a-kind institution is well worth a large-scale investment. The importance of the project was, I think, to show our commitment to the arts and the development of the arts in Armenia. Uh, we know the history of the Tchaikovsky School. Uh, we know its legacy, we know its graduates. And we've met and seen many people in the United States who are graduates of Tchaikovsky. And we are just uh, very honored to be a part of uh, renovating and allowing Tchaikovsky's uh, future development of Armenian artists. Uh, so I'm just recently getting exposed to uh, the Armenia Fund in the Eastern Region. And um, I had the experience yesterday of going up to Akdala for a future project that we'll be involved with. But coming to, to see this beautiful uh, Tchaikovsky School really um, fascinated with me and, and you know, it was very emotional for me uh, to walk through and see the children in, in these beautiful rooms. Uh, and the happiness on their faces uh, was truly something that gave me shivers and, and confirmed the reason why I wanted to get more involved with Armenia Fund. All of the organizational and management work was handled by all Armenian Fund's U.S. Eastern Region, which for over one year is spearheaded by its executive director, Lisa Stepanian. This project was a very, very big uh, project financially for Armenia Fund USA Eastern Region. Um, but thanks to the community, um, actually the whole Eastern Region uh, family of Armenia Fund, since our donors, um, donor base is mostly the whole Eastern Region from uh, Michigan all the way to Florida, and we were able to um, accomplish this hard work. But our chairman uh, was inspired uh, while visiting in January of 2015 uh, by seeing this little, little uh, girl uh, playing a piano and uh, who was probably six years old at that time. And this school does, uh, the students are from age of six to 18. Most of our talents uh, globally uh, in Armenia or outside of Armenia if you meet them and you talk to them they are graduate from Tchaikovsky school after construction also it opens other uh, uh, roads for us so the we're not finished with the project now that we have a state-of-art uh, construction uh, in its place and the school uh, is ready to open the doors for internationally student exchange programs or even teachers who, who would uh, be uh, from globally, they will have teacher programs, exchange programs that uh, they will have master classes 
And uh, most of our uh, talented musicians, especially in um, New York, New Jersey area, and I believe uh, East Coast, some of them, they live in Michigan and Massachusetts as well. Uh, they are graduates from our uh, Tchaikovsky music school, such as Karen Hakopian, Haik Arsenian, Sofia Melikian, Lilith Kurdian, there are so many of them. Uh, so we are so happy and they are all ready to go back to the school. I, after the school opening, I got a lot of emails and texts about uh, congratulating and they're all ready to uh, you know, go back to their own school and uh, share their uh, experience, their, their knowledge that they received uh, outside of Armenia. All Armenian funds, U.S. Eastern Region, is currently involved in numerous important projects besides infrastructure building. This includes environmental activities such as cleaning the lead and industrial toxins from polluted regions of the country, creating networking opportunities between Armenian and Western health professionals via teleconferencing and much more. The next uh, project which is very, very important uh, as, uh, you know, creating a nice environment school for these children, but also the health of children is very important. Uh, now this is outskirt of um, uh, Yerevan. It's in Alaverdi, Lori region. It's a village of Ahtala. It's among, this village is amongst the 22 other sites. But uh, the Pure Earth uh, uh, American organization that we partnered uh, recently, who will be conducting all the works of the cleaning the toxic uh, polluted area. Uh, they've done testing and uh, uh, the 85% of children in that area are, uh, the blood levels are uh, ver uh, very high in lead uh, content. So of course we all know the um, outcome of this uh, blood level uh, results that are creating mental disability, uh, learning disability, and uh, of course now it's kind of a, it's a, we have a, re we kind of, uh, raising a red flag on this issue for Armenia. It's about time. We are inviting all of you to join us and helping us uh, to make this project um, again another success. And uh, of course after this Ahtala village is done, there are other, as I mentioned, 22 other sites that needs uh, to be um, cleaned and do the whole work. Uh, the beauty of this uh, uh, partnering with Pure Earth organization was that uh, they will be also teaching the locals uh, how to do the works and so it's kind of uh, a very a dual achievement uh, plus doing the work and cleaning the polluted areas also educating and uh, sharing their expertise with the local Armenian uh, uh, authorities who are involved with the environmental cleaning of uh, Armenia. We also have other uh, projects uh, such as uh, hybrid telemedicine teleconference project, uh, which actually acts uh, as a bridge uh, between uh, doctors in the United States and the doctors' uh, hospitals in um, Armenia and Karabakh. Another important project uh, that is again uh, happening through Highbridge uh, program is uh, inviting doctors from Armenia and Karabakh to come to United States and uh, to um, uh, visit the hospitals and also uh, meetings with doctors and to, to develop more uh, knowledge in their um, you know, career. And we have uh, actually in November one of the doctors from Stepanaket who would be coming and visiting, uh, attending uh, some program in emergency department at uh, Yale University. And uh, that will help him to develop the emergency uh, department in their own uh, hospital, which is the Stepanaket Medical Center. Thanks to the dedication and hard work of countless volunteers and supporters in Armenia and around the world, Armenia Fund USA continues implementing effective, tangible, and far-reaching change in Armenia and Karabakh. The fund believes 
that by merging our collective strengths and focusing on a common goal, we can together be of greater assistance to the homeland. I'm very uh, excited to be uh, with Armenia Fund USA and on behalf of the board, I thank to our continuous uh, supporters, uh, loyal supporters, believers of the Armenia Fund USA projects. I uh, encourage uh, for you when you visit uh, Armenia and Karabakh, please uh, ask where the projects are of Armenia Fund USA so you could see uh, with your own eyes of all the accomplished uh, projects that are uh, uh, completed by Armenia Fund USA family. And as every, uh, all of you might know already, there are 22 affiliates all over the uh, world that Armenia Fund USA uh, family is pretty big and every uh, country has a uh, office and has a lot of supporters that makes the motherland uh, to, to be much stronger. Armenia is important to every single Armenian, I believe, living in Armenia and outside Armenia. Uh, because that is our kind of backbone. And uh, if we have a successful, prosperous Armenia, we will be feeling much better as Armenian. We will be proud even more uh, to say we're Armenian. So please, it's important that you show all your support. Um, you know, it doesn't matter uh, the amount of the uh, donation is a donation. Of course, uh, our doors are open. Anyone who has any questions to visit us, our new office in New Jersey, Paramus, just let's be unified and uh, all together. I always say my favorite quote is, it says one hand washes the other, but both hands wash uh, the face. So let's be all together and uh, let's create a new uh, prosperous and strong Armenia.